Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the size and particularly width of your scroll bars on Windows 10. So whether you want to make your scroll bars wider or thinner, this tutorial will be for you. So just keep in mind there is one note I want to put aside and this will not work for any store apps within the user interface. So in particular like the modern settings window so if you open up the star menu and went underneath settings it won't be the settings window like this one it'll be most of the other windows there should have the scroll bar should become wider or smaller again depending on what you're looking for so we're going to jump into it and we are going to start by opening up the start menu just off on the start button one time type in regedit so r-e-g-e-d-i-t Best match should come back a red jetted. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now you want to expand the H key current user folder, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. Now you want to do the same thing for control panel. Now desktop and now Windows metrics, just left click on the folder one time. Now there's two values on the right side we want to draw our attention to. The first is scroll height and the other one is scroll width. So most people are probably going to be more interested in the scroll width. Default setting is negative 255. So basically the value we're going to want, you just want to do negative 15 times whatever width you want in pixels. Most people it's either going to be between negative 120 which is going to be more thin versus negative 1500 which is the smallest value which will be the thickest so let's just say we wanted to do negative 500 just to give you guys the idea so I'm going to double click on scroll width here for value data I'm going to delete the negative 255 and I'm going to type in negative 500 in its place I'm going to lock on OK I'm going to restart the computer here just so you guys can get an idea for what it's going to look like
Okay, now that we are back in the windows here, I wanted to give you guys an idea for what it's going to look like. So let's open our bridge edit again. Just do an apples for apples comparison. And you notice the width of the scroll bar has definitely changed a little bit. So pretty neat feature guys. Dope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.